This video is going to cover the basics of contact segments in Active Demand. Those of you that have been using Active Demand for a long time, you know about contact lists, which are essentially audiences in Active Demand. Uh, there's a new concept now that we're introducing, which is called contact segments. And really what a contact segment is, is a saved query. A saved query meaning uh, you can reference this contact segment query uh, in your audience builder, in your decision trees within the automation, etc. The benefit of a contact segment definition is that you may have a very complex query that defines a specific segment. Uh, as you continue to use that segment throughout the product, you might find that the definition of that segment evolves in time. And if it does evolve, you're going through all of these different queries and decision trees and as well as in the audience builder, trying to update this new definition of a segment. So really the idea of segments is to very quickly be able to build complex queries, save the queries, and then reference the queries. So for example, maybe you're trying to isolate those people that have a very specific interest. So for example, maybe they're expressing their interest in product A by visiting a specific page on your website that contains product A in the URL. Or maybe it's the case that they've talked about it on a phone call. Or maybe they chatted about this product uh, using the live chat. Here is an example of product A where we're using real-time behavioral segmentation. And we may determine later on that there's something else the person did. For example, clicked a link in an email or um, spent a bunch of time on a page that has the content of product A, etc. As the behavioral segmentation evolves, if you are using this complex query several places within the product, it'd be very difficult to update all of these places where this query exists. But with a context segment, you can actually create the segment and reference the segment in your queries. Something to note for marketing agencies, if you have multiple accounts, you can create a segment in your master account, check this checkbox, and the segment will be available to all of your client accounts. So another place that you can use and reference the segments that is very useful is in the all contact screen. In the all contact screen, you may be looking to dig down to find a specific group of people in your contact database. So here you can select one of your existing uh, segments that you've defined for like, for example, the product A example. And this is going to look through all the history of the contacts you have in your database if you filter using product A. You can create a temporary segment that you don't save just to do a quick query on the database to find some specific behavioral information based on the people in your contact list. So now I'm going to show you how to use or reference this query within a workflow. So basically I'll take a, a decision object and in the decision object I can go in and look for segments and choose the segment that I'm interested in. Here is interested in product A. So if they're interested in product A, we're going to send them this specific email. If they're not interested in product A, maybe they're interested in something else. So here's another example is using dynamic content blocks. As you know, with dynamic content blocks, there's a stack of, of content and each content object has a query. So we want to render this specific content block if this person is interested in product A. So again, I go to the targeting, I go in, find the segment, and I select the specific segment here, which is interested in product A. So if somebody sees this dynamic content block, they'll see if they're interested in product A. If they're not, we'll assume that they're interested in product B. The same story goes for, for example, pop-ups. And pop-ups is exactly the same as you know with dynamic content blocks. We use advanced targeting and we display the proper pop-up based on what their interests are. Another use case for segments is using the conditional send of email. So we have this specific email that we're going to send to our contact database, but we want to send a special version of this email to the people that have a interest or have expressed an interest in product A. So with this new version, I'll customize it for the people that are interested in product A. I'll go to the filters and again, select the segment. And the people who are interested in the contact list who are interested in product A will get 
this version of the email, the people that are not interested in product A will get the default. So this concludes this video on contact segments. As you'll see, contact segments are very useful across many areas of the product. And it's important to understand the difference between contact segments and contact lists. Contact lists are audiences where people enter the list, leave the list, it's fully tracked, whereas a segment is just a saved query for reuse across the platform.